hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we will discuss what are the different data types supported in tableau then dimension and measure then continuous and discrete okay so without any further delay let's get started so these are the data types supported in tableau that is text text is represented by abc date value is represented by calendar symbol and date and time is represented by calendar and clock symbol numeric value is represented by hash boolean values represented by true and false t hyphen f t slash f and geographic values is is represented by clock and cluster value is represented by this symbol okay so tableau automatically divides all the fields into the dimension and measure based on their data types okay so what is dimension so dimension contains qualitative values like names date geographics category subcategory segment okay so dimension affect the level of details in the view level of detail means we can select uh, on which level we want to see the data okay suppose we have category and subcategory in in our data source but we want to see the data only based on subcategory so we can drag the subcategory and see the data based on subcategory okay so what is measure measure contains numeric and quality quantitative values like sales quantity profit discount okay and measure can be aggregated whenever we drag measures in the view tableau automatically applies aggregation to that measure okay now we will see what is continuous and discrete values okay continuous means forming an unbrokeable and without interruption means which is continuous in nature without any break okay and discrete is distinct and separated values in tableau continuous value is represented by green color and discrete value is represented by blue color okay both the dimension and measure can be continuous and discrete okay discrete this is discrete dimension is represented by blue color and continuous dimension is represented by green color but we can uh, but the data types uh, of string and boolean cannot be continuous okay so this is discrete measure that is represented by blue color and this is continuous measure is represented by green color okay now we will see how we can use discrete continuous and major and dimension in the tableau okay so when we load the data into tableau tableau automatically divide the data into dimension and measure based on data present in field okay you can see above the line all the data field comes under dimension and below the line all the data field comes under measure okay measure name latitude longitude lo, uh, longitude orders and measure value these fields get created by tableau when we load the data set okay we can convert a dimension into measure and measure into dimension okay suppose we need to convert category into measure so we can right click on it and click on convert into measure okay as you can see this comes under measure now suppose we want to create this count into dimension so we can convert into dimension by clicking here so you can see it comes here okay and about measure name and measure value so measure name contains all the uh, values uh, for sales quantity and profit okay suppose we want to drag all the uh, values for sales sales uh, quantity profit at a time so we can just click on measure value and you can see you can uh, get all the measure value that are present in the data set okay as you can see the count of orders so we have total number of uh, 10194 orders and we can see the total profit here quantity and sales also okay now comes to 
continuous and discrete values as we know blue color represent discrete value and green color represent continuous value okay uh, whenever you hover on any field you can check whether it is discrete or whether it is continuous okay a dimension can be discrete or continuous and same for measure also but but the condition is in in dimension string value bo boolean values and geography value cannot be continuous okay so if you try to do it you will not get any option here okay so if we want to change order date into continuous we can do it by clicking on convert into continuous okay as you can see the color has changed for order date let's try to convert continuous into discrete value okay so i have changed it to i have changed into discrete as you can see the color has changed for discount as well okay this is how you can differentiate between continuous and measure let's take an example of dimension and measure so whenever we drag any any dimension in the view it gives us header okay so let me drag category so you can see so it gives us header like furniture office supply and technology okay let me rename the sheet dimension and next we rename the sheet for measure okay so whenever we drag any measure in the view it gives us access okay as you can see when i drag profit into view it gives us access okay let's drag both dimension and measure okay as you can see based on based based on category in the category we have furniture office supply and technology on basis of this category we are getting our sales okay this is how dimension and measure works thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos